Hi folks, Mike Stewart with Bark River Knives. This is the new Senegal. And uh, if you look at the pictures on uh, everybody's website, they actually look a little out of proportion because we found it almost impossible to photograph this without the blade looking huge compared to the handle. But uh, you can see that it's a bit more in proportion than the pictures that you're gonna see on, on the dealer and distributor websites. Um, this is um, a pretty historically significant knife. Um, this is the exact blade from the Senghalese jungle knife. It's not a machete. See how thick it is? It is not a machete, it's a jungle knife. Um, and it was made for the Senghalese army by the French, because that was actually a French uh, occupied country for a long time. These were invented uh, or designed in 1914 and they were in continuous use in Senegal um, all the way through like 1956 to 1958. But because it was such a popular knife, it wasn't limited to Senegal. These were used in World War I, World War II, uh, the Korean conflict, and Vietnam. Um, when I say Vietnam, I don't mean when we were in Vietnam. I mean when the French were in Vietnam. Uh, the French Foreign Legion used these extensively. Um, you can see from the cutting curve, it doesn't require um, a snap cut or a draw cut. Um, it works really well with either of those, but you can just pretty much just use this thing with some authority. I would not recommend swinging it full arm. Uh, you don't need to, you'll tire your arm. This is, this is a hair under two pounds overall, it, but it's not ungainly. Um, the handle is the same size as our bushcraft handle. When I say size, I mean this way. It is not the same thickness. This is um, much thicker in girth which gives you a much better grip. So it's the same size as the, as the, the bush sacks, but the handle is much heavier and thicker, which gives you a very secure grip. The ergonomics of it will keep it in your hand. It doesn't need a hook uh, on the back. Um, with, I've been testing this, and I think a bunch of you saw the picture of our test log. Um, the guys, they, they test every single one of these on the edge to make sure that the edge geometry is right. Uh, that log lasted like three days, and it was a pretty fair-sized log. Uh, I think Skittles is going out and getting another one for today. Um, I would say that this is easier to use than most of the other jungle knives because it requires less technique. Um, there's a pretty good selection of handles out there. Um, this particular one, if you take a look at it, is uh, black canvas micarta, which means this one's mine. <laughs>